Welcome to lesson 302. It seems like we're starting from the bottom to climb up the last part of the ladder of A Course in Miracles <laughs> lessons. 302. Very exciting. Where darkness was, I look upon the light. So today I'm starting my day out feeling very excited that I had a dark day yesterday because where darkness was, I now look upon the light. You have to be aware of the darkness to be able to look upon light instead. So Father, our eyes are opening at last. <laughs> oh my God. Finally, our eyes are opening at last. <clears throat> Your holy world awaits us as our sight is finally restored and we can see. We thought we suffered, but we had forgot the sun whom you created. Now we see that darkness is our own imagining and light is there for us to look upon. So yes, we literally create our own suffering. We create our own darkness. We choose it. We imagine it. We make it up. We choose suffering. Hard to believe, but it's true. Christ's vision changes darkness into light. For fear must disappear when love has come. So where are you blocking love? Let me forgive your holy world today that I may look upon its holiness and understand it but reflects my own. So this is lesson 302. Our love awaits us as we go to him and walks beside us, showing us the way. He fails in nothing. He is the end we seek and he the means by which we go to him. So literally lesson 302 is saying you cannot fail. You cannot fail because he cannot fail. So, so it's, and you don't even have to know the way you're going to be shown the way. All you need to do is open your eyes at last, right? And you can do that now because love is here. You are choosing love. You are remembering the son whom God created. You are remembering you are the son. And now you are seeing that the darkness is your own imagining and light is here for you to look upon. So Christ's vision changes darkness into light and fear absolutely must disappear when love has come. Tina Jesus for lesson 302 said, yeah, after you've spent a couple of decades on this planet, usually it takes that long. You come to this big realization that there is a part of you that wants to hate and there is a part of you that does not want to forgive. So that is essentially the ego part of you that wants to hate and not forgive. And this part of you is the part of your consciousness that chose separation, chose to leave God and experience this lower frequency experience. Now, why would you do that? Tina Jesus said it was to experience not love. It was to experience separation. So you chose this. God did not abandon you. You chose to focus in this lower frequency experience. And you, your ego consciousness, wants to hate. It does not want to forgive because it chose this experience. So at some point, you will have enough of this. Have you had enough? You will have enough of this ridiculous Thing that you have now realized that there's a part of your consciousness that wants to be separate and you decide that you want to return home to God. So being human is hard. <laughs> Jesus said being human is bad even when it's good. Think about aging, the birthing process, all the things you go through in your bodies, in your life. Even when your life here in the separation is, quote, good, it's still pretty hard. It can still be bad. And that is because it is lower frequency. So if you've had enough, here's what you need to do. Seek peace. Return home to God in your heart. 
choose forgiveness. Do whatever you can to reduce the separation. So that's choosing love. That's choosing forgiveness. That's seeking peace. That's doing your lessons in A Course in Miracles. That's opening your heart. And when you've had enough, all you need to do is make love, make being love, make experiencing love your prime directive. So I think Jesus definitely hit the nail on the head when it was addressed that even when life is good, even when you've got a beautiful house and a beautiful lover and a beautiful everything and money, money, money and good, 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 it can still be very hard to be human because you are dense. You're in this lower frequency. You're in a body. You have teeth and you're trying to hold on to them. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in your you're in a body and even if you want to decide to have a family think about how hard it is to give birth I mean maybe you can do that maybe you can't but I did it three times and it sucks <laughs> it's rough it is rough on the body so even when it's good and beautiful by the egoic standards it's still rather hard to be separated into this lower frequency but apparently there was part of our consciousness that wanted to do this wanted to experience something different wanted to play god themselves and here we are and there's a part of us and i recognize this in my mind very clearly that does not want to forgive that does not want to love it wants to hate it wants to feel separate it wants to feel bad it 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 feeds it and yes i have definitely been on the earth a few decades and i've i've as jesus said i've had enough of that it's you know it's ridiculous and so it does take a lot of effort to seek peace when there's a part of your consciousness that is very well exercised, trained, and strong in hatred, in judgment, in retaliation, in defense, in attack, in condemnation. Like, it takes a lot of effort to turn this ship around and sail into peaceful waters, if you will. So as we choose love, as we work on being shown a different way, being healed, it's not us that has to figure out the healing. We just have to be willing to let Holy Spirit heal us. Heal my hateful thoughts. Heal my fear-based thoughts. Help me see love. Help me choose forgiveness. You know, like for a long time, I, I was like, how am I even forgiving? Like, I know I'm for being more forgiving, but I'm still not even sure, like, how I'm doing it. It was because I'm not doing it. <laughs> I just literally had to stop being hateful, and it's done for me. So different, different way to look at the world. Make love your priority. Make it your prime directive. Do everything you can to reduce separation and choose love. And that is truly choosing forgiveness. And get it in your mind that the thing you want to experience now is returning home in God. Pathwaysoflight.org Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 302, Insights. Where darkness was, I look upon the light. As it says elsewhere in the Course, God is love and nothing else. So the second paragraph could be read as, Love awaits us as we go to love. Love walks beside us, showing us the way. Love is the end we seek, and love is the means by which we go to love. In this world, we cannot experience the love of God fully. Love is one and cannot be experienced while belief in separation is maintained. But there is a reflection of love in this world that is the means by which we can return to the full experience of the unity of God's love. This reflection of love is forgiveness. Forgiveness clears away the darkness so the light of love can shine upon our vision and show us the truth 
of our unity with all that is. Because of the countless forms of this world, it seems that forgiveness must be applied again and again. Circumstances that call for forgiveness seem to be different. But the need for forgiveness in every circumstance comes from one core mistaken idea. That idea is the demand that God gave us special favor, that he gave his love unequally. Gradually, as we practice forgiveness, we begin to see that all circumstances in which conflict and guilt seem to occur are the same. The light of love shows us that where we believed there was division, there is only unity and wholeness. Where we saw guilt, there is only innocence. Where we thought there was harm, there was harmlessness. Love walks beside us and shows us the way to the full recognition of our self of love. Forgiveness lets go of the barriers to that recognition. As we let go of the veils, the clarity of our love that we share with God comes fully into our awareness and we recognize God's world. We recognize heaven, the eternal, joyous giving and receiving of love. As I learn to attend the love that walks beside me, I will look only upon the light. The sentence that stands out to me in this lesson is, now we see that darkness is our own imagining and light is there for us to look upon. I see that I awaken as I recognize that the darkness I see out in the world is my own imagining. I awaken as I recognize that the light is there for me to look upon. I see that this is my daily opportunity. The world of separate bodies is a dream. A world of differences is a dream. This world is a projection that does not leave my mind. If I see darkness out in the world, it is a reflection of a belief in darkness that still resides in my mind. I have a choice. I can continue repeating projection from the past, or I can make the choice to recognize the light that is there for me to look upon. The choice I make depends on what I want to reinforce within myself. I am either holding the ego's hand or the Holy Spirit's hand with every thought. I would use this day as a practice to open my mind to the light that is eternally there to see, if I am willing to see it. Today I can reinforce the dream or practice letting it go, seeing it for the nothingness that it is. The truth is, God is. Love is. There is no other. Am I willing to recognize love today or will I try to make the darkness real? Today I am willing to practice opening to the truth that only love is real. Where darkness was, I look upon the light. Pathwaysoflight.org Yeah, so that is our work today, 302. Let us not be 302'd. Let us not go crazy in this world. Let us instead return home to love. Let us return our thoughts to love, our everything to love, because love is, God is. So if you're, if you're tripping up over that G-O-D, that God word, just 
switch it up to love and see how much sense it makes, you know, and then you can make love your prime directive, make God your prime directive, make closing the gap, reducing separation. So sometimes the best you can do is just to reduce, reduce the separation and then try to see the light, try to see the love that is there and try to recognize it gets easier and easier to recognize and realize that part of your consciousness that is not choosing love that is anything but willing and you'll see it in its own recycling of the regurgitated story the the pain that it just holds on to or the the, the story that you're telling that is not serving you anymore, that is the part of your consciousness that is unwilling to forgive. It's unwilling to let that story go. It's unwilling to let that memory be dissolved. So let your memories and stories be dissolved today in the name of forgiveness and the intention of reducing separation and returning to love, experiencing love. And the way you do that, you're probably going to need to ask for help. You're going to need to hold the Holy Spirit's hand with every thought. Every thought, hold the Holy Spirit's hand. So Father, our eyes are opening at last. Lesson 302, where darkness was, I look upon the light. It's there. The holy world is there. Your sight can finally be restored and you can see. You only thought you suffered. <laughs> the darkness was your own imagining, silly. And the light is there for you to look upon. So love awaits you on this day. Lesson 302, where darkness was... I look upon the light.